Hi, so um, welcome everybody. Um, my name is Dr. Rosie Mayston. I'm on, speaking on behalf of the Global Mental Health MSc programme. Um, so I'm based at the Centre for Global Mental Health down at the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience. So first of all, I wanted to start off with a basic question. Global mental health is quite a new field. So I wanted to talk about what is global mental health, just briefly. So global mental health fundamentally is about the treatment gap. It's about recognition of the inequity. And really when we talk about the treatment gap, our main focus in global mental health is that gap in low and middle income country settings. Globally, that is where there's the biggest discrepancy between the number of people living with mental disorders and the amount of evidence-based treatment which is available to them. So these are places where there really is, there's a lot of need and basically a lack of, a lack of access to services. So what we aim to do in the Global Mental Health MSc is to train people to be able to start to work in that area and start to address that treatment gap. We do this across two institutions. So the MSc is jointly delivered between King's College London and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And both of these institutions bring real strengths to the MSc programme. So at King's College, being based down at the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience, we have a real strength and expertise in mental health research, <coughs> mental health research methodologies, and people who really focus in on world-leading mental health and health services research. At London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, this is obviously the leading school of public health within the UK setting. And so there, our students have access to public health modules and can learn all sorts of methodologies, health promotion um, um, and health prevention. Um, so, so, and mental health, yeah, mental, mental disorder prevention uh, strategies in, in the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. So I'd like you to keep in mind the kind of potential student destinations for our alumni from this program. And the core curriculum really illustrates what we do. So within Global Mental Health, we address things like the burden of mental disorder in low and middle income country settings, as well as the determinants, the impact of mental disorder in those settings. And then we also take a critical approach. So thinking about how um, the context in which people live and culture and health systems might affect their mental health and their expressions of mental disorders. So in terms of the core curriculum, we start off with a broad introduction to the field, which introduces you to a kind of social science perspective on the field. We take you through training in statistics um, as a core research methodology, as well as epidemiology. And then we take you through to the design and evaluation of mental health programs, and then how to scale up those programs, which is our theory to practice module. So how to take interventions which are individual packages of care and scale them up to whole regions and whole country populations. This enables our students to um, pursue the following types of careers. So work in mental health policy and planning, work in research, so either academic research or research which is based in non-governmental organisations, advocacy roles as well as enhanced clinical careers. And I guess this gives you an indication of where our students come from as well. We have quite a diverse student body. We have people who come straight through from undergraduate degrees in social science. We also have people who have a clinical background <coughs> and we have some people who have a more biomedical scientific background. And the course does cater for this kind of diverse um, audience. This gives you an indication, I know it is rather small, but this does give you an indication of the wide range of optional modules which are available to our students. So as I said, it's a mixture of kind of specialist mental health methodology modules, which are largely speaking based down at the IOPPN, um, as well as a, a range of public health modules which are taught and delivered at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. So as well as the core modules and the optional modules, the final component of the course is the dissertation. And this is really students' opportunity to pursue their own interests um, and work with staff at both sites on a particular project which really enables them to kind of showcase what they can do um, and develop a, a strong skill set. So projects on offer are secondary data analysis, so that's working with qualitative or quantitative data, a systematic review of an area of interest, a research, a research protocol or a um, policy re report. 
So that gives you an idea of the kind of overall content um, and structure of the course, really. And I just wanted to finish off by saying what you should expect from us. So we were delighted um, last year to receive an award for student experience within the IOPPN. Um, and I think you should really expect three things from us. So we give, you, we give you support to be able to develop your own skills. We help you to kind of develop your transferable skills in terms of your um, career development. And we help you in terms of um, achieving your, your, the very best that you can possibly achieve in terms of academic attainment. So that's it. Thank you.